Okay, Lee, so the first full length board is down, yeah. and I can see you've already cut um, the next, well, the board that's going to go on to the end of that board. Um, how do you make the decision as to where to cut boards and where joints are going to be for any subsequent boards across the, across the floor? Right, in general rule of thumb, what I try to do is the offcut off the first board I try to use as the beginning of the second row or the next row. But you get to a stage where if you keep doing that, the joints are very uniform staggered across the, the room. So what then you have to do is try to break the joints by cutting a board separately to your offcut and then starting so it staggers the joints. Right, okay, so we're now going to cut the second board for the second row. Um, right. Yeah, go ahead. Once, once we find out the measurement of the, the board to be cut, because this is a textured board, it is easier to put some masking tape on where we need to mark it. So if we put the masking tape on, just a little bit where we mark it, where we need to mark it, and mark it, as so. You can now easily see the mark so we can cut it accurately on the saw. Right, so Lee's now cut that second board. Let's see it snap into place. Yeah. Good luck. It's cut nice and neatly now. We're leaving about a 10mm gap for the movement of the boards, if there's any movement of the boards. Now I notice that these boards have gone together incredibly easily um, and you haven't you had to use any kind of a mallet or hammer or anything like that to get the groove over the tongue of the previous board. Is that something that's very common or is it just because these are extremely high quality boards? It's the, the, the very high quality boards, the cheaper the board the less the accuracy of the machining in the tongue and the groove. Uh, these, in this circumstance, are extremely high board, quality boards and it makes it far easier to fit. 